different, so it's hard for me to adjust to teaching older children, too. All right, let's start with these sentence corrections. Read each sentence and tell me what to fix. <clears throat> Lucy said my favorite Bible verse is this poem <clears throat> um, Bible isn't capitalized. Okay. I can just fix it. And 46, we need um, two dots in the middle. Yes, that's called a colon. A colon. Yes. And I think that's all. Nope. Um, think about what you know about quotation. This also needs to be a capital P. But it's telling you exactly what Lucy said. Lucy said, my favorite Bible verse is Psalm 46. Bye-bye. So how do we indicate in our sentence that that is what she said? We can, <clears throat> we can, um, I don't know how to say this. But I think I'll put them here, I guess. Yeah, those are called quotation marks. Quotation marks, got it. Yeah, and we put those around what it is that she said. Okay, so those are called quotation marks. Quotation marks. Um, and before the quotation marks, after the word said, we need a comma. And then the thing that she said is a complete sentence. So we have to start it with a capital letter. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then let's look at the next one. Um, that. Um, the teacher teach, the students not learn. Okay, so you're right that it should be teach. However, the past tense of teach. It's what is teach. the past tense of taught. not teach? Is taught. Taught, yes. Teacher taught the students the song Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mm, Mary, I think this is, have to be in quote. What is it called again? I forgot. Quotation marks. Um, Mary had a okay. little lamb. Quotation marks. And the end of quote. Yes. And Mary have to cap, we have to capitalize it. Do we capitalize just the M, or do we capitalize all of the important words in the song title? Um, all, all of the important words. Right. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's move on to the next one. Um, to, today, the T in today is um, capitalized. Yes. I found a hole. <clears throat> a hole. Hole. Um, we don't need the W. Right, that's a different kind of hole. Hole with the W H O L E means all of something. Hmm. I found a hole in my favorite. I think favorite are we are missing an O and a U. Um, in the middle of the V and the R.
just the arrow. Um, I think some people, I think they might put a U in it in the United Kingdom, um, but in America, we can not put a U in it. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> very good. Um, there's one more thing missing in this sentence. There's a comma missing. Do you know where it goes? Comma? The comma in the last sentence? Today, I found a hole in my favorite skirt. There's a comma that goes in there somewhere. I think the comma is in the middle of the today and I. Right. Today, comma, I found a hole in my favorite skirt. Good. All right. Last sentence. Um, we have the W and we have this is capitalized. Good. I think it's now so we have pizza not head. Okay. Um, then I think <clears throat> there is a dot and a, a dot and a comma. Okay. Between a semicolon. A semicolon in between the today and the it. Good. Very good. All right. Now let's move on. To prepositional phrases. Remember that prepositions are words like in, um, around, with, by. Okay, so in these sentences, I need you to circle the prepositional phrases. What is the prepositional phrase? Phrases again, I forgot. A preposition is a word like in, by, with, and a prepositional phrase is um, the whole phrase around the preposition. So let's look at this first one. The lady in the middle row is my teacher. So the prepositional phrase here would be in the middle row because that tells us where the lady is. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you look at the next one. Can I and see if you can find? Can I see for it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that is not the prepositional phrase. The, the verb here oh. is go. Often it's an adverb. I think it's balancing. I think you've got it now. Yeah. Okay, that's the subject. Prepositional phrase has to start with a preposition. Prepositions are words like in, by, <laughs> very good. Okay, so prepositions um, usually come before a noun and they show relation. So this one, this prepositional phrase, is telling us where they go fishing. Where do they, Dad and I go fishing? By the lake. Okay, so sometimes it'll tell us where, um, sometimes it'll tell us <coughs> Before, during, um, and sometimes it's 
proven noun, that's the prepositional phrase. Okay, so let's look at um, the next sentence. The match against Florida was great. Okay, we know the subject is the match. We know the verb is was. Okay, so we're looking for a preposition here. Something that is explaining or taking something further. So what about the phrase against Florida? The phrase against Florida tells us more about the match. Okay, so the prepositional phrase here would be against Florida. Oh, I thought it, against is in a preposition. Against is a preposition, yes. It's telling us more about the match. It's telling us the relationship of the match. The match is against Florida. Oh. All right. The pudding is served with banana and caramel sauce. Okay, so we know the subject is pudding, the verb, and the helping verb is, is served. What about the preposition? Telling us more about it. Hmm, I think it's with banana and caramel sauce. Very good. Very good. That tells us how the pudding is served. It's served with banana and caramel sauce. All right? Yes. Talking during a meeting can be very annoying for others. So this one actually has two prepositional phrases. Okay? Um, there's one that relates talking. Talking when? Okay, so it doesn't start with talking. You're close. It doesn't start with talking. It starts with doing. During. Okay? So, talking is the subject. During a movie is the prepositional phrase. It's telling us more about talking. Talking during a movie can be very annoying for others. I think for others. For others describes who it's annoying to. All right. Last one. The fawn ran over the hill. Yes, very good. That says, where did the fawn run? Over the hill. All right. to do some sentence diagramming here. Um, so the way that this is going to work, um, using your pen, you draw the diagram. Okay. And then you can actually move the words. Each individual word you can move to put in the correct spot. Okay. All right, so I started the first one for you. Let's see if you can finish it.
If you need help with drawing something, let me know. Can you erase the arrow for me, please? Thank you. There you go. right in here. It's just like a highlighter, but I can't find it. Okay. So what is it that you're trying to do? Um, bake. The word bake in there. And under it, there's two lines with a O and cake. Okay. So we do have bake. Um, however... Which sentence would you like to do next? Um, I think the um, blue sentence next to it. Okay. Would you like to try drawing again or would you like for me to? I think I like to draw again. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop you there. 